Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem. تأمرون الناس بالبر وتنسون أنفسكم وأنتم تكلون الكتاب أفلا تعقلون وسعينوا بالصبر والصلاة وإنها كبيرة إلا الخاشين الله سبحانه وتعالى says Do you invite the people to the good and forget yourselves while you read the book when you read the, reading the Quran or reading the, the holy book Are you a thinking person? And seek assistance by patience and salat. And verily, that is something great, meaning something maybe difficult, except for for the khashi'in, except for those people who are the people of khashia, who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I just wanted to talk about that last part of the ayat, how it applies to our, our lives. Not the tafsir, not the explanation of the ayat itself, but rather just the statement itself, how powerful it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he said, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, fi kitabihi al kareem. He said, and seek refuge with patience and prayer. For verily, that is. something big or difficult except for the khashin, except for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That at ayat lets us know that in fact if we want to cure a lot of our spiritual illnesses and me first and foremost I need this ayat I need to reflect and practice this ayat but I wanted to share this as well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to be patient to be patient and pray prayer and patience That helps to fortify the believer. And that is the cure for our spiritual sickness. For example, if you suffer from loneliness, you suffer from hardship, you suffer from poverty, you suffer from whatever, of course you strive in tawakkal ala Allah Azza wa Jal. Part of that tawakkal, that reliance and trusting in your Lord, is following His commandments. And what does Allah say in order to deal with these things? Wasta'inu bi sabri wa salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and seek, seek your help, seek your support, seek refuge with patience and prayer. When we feel that urge to commit a sin, or that feeling of loneliness, or sadness, or whatever it is that plagues us, and if at that moment we make wudu, We exercise patience by patience fi ta'atillah. Patience by leaving the sin, by being obedient to Allah. Or patience ala ma'asiyatillah. And patience by avoiding obe disobedience. And we come to Allah in prayer. Right there is the prescription for what we're trying to do. And may Allah bless us with that. Ameen ya rabbil alameen.
وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم